Alright, um, welcome to another video. Um, in this one I'll be showing you very quickly how to use the square root transformation in SPSS. Um, this assumes that you already have a data set open in front of you using a uh, set of values from a previous tutorial that I showed you uh, I've uploaded uh, entitled skewness and ketosis. So you might want to do that one first, otherwise you can just pause it and then type in the ages listed here and call the column age. Alright, so to do our square root transformation, we're doing this because we've already seen in, in the previous tutorial on skewness and ketosis that um, the data we entered was not normally distributed, so we're going to try and fix that up by transforming it. Okay, so to do that what we do is we go transform, and then we click compute, compute variable, and this is always a, it's a very, very useful function, you can do all sorts of things with it. Okay, so transform compute variable, and then we get this window here. Okay, so this is the compute variable window. So if you see down here in where it says function group, there's all sorts of things you can do with this. But what we want for now is the arithmetic functions. And there's loads of ones in here, and lots of them you won't ever need to use, but to help you out, what happens is when you click on one of them, it'll give you a little description about what that one's all about, just to the left hand side of it. Okay, so um, for now what we want is the square root, so we scroll down a bit more, click square root, and then if you just double click it, what will then happen, further up in the display, is you'll see where it's a numeric expression, you'll get uh, a little thing saying square root. Okay, and you'll notice also that inside the square root thing in brackets, there's a little question mark, and that's been highlighted in blue, and that's a useful thing that SPSS does, because what you can then do is go over to your variable list, which is down listed down here, uh, obviously, because we've only got one variable, age, that's just selected there. We click on that, age variable, and then we press this arrow here, and it automatically puts age in there. You could have, of course, just deleted the question mark and type, typed that in manually by yourself. That would have worked fine too. Okay, so the only thing left that we need to do is create a name for this new target variable, because obviously we don't, it's not going to write over our age variable. Okay, so what we can do is call that sqrt age. OK, uh, and then that's it. So we scroll, move on down to the OK button, the compute variable, and we press OK. And then immediately you'll see that you now have age, the original values, and then square root of age as well. Um, and that all looks absolutely fine. So that's it for this one. 